Hi everybody, Merry Christmas. Here we are Christmas Eve, we've made it, right? It's Sunday and if you're like me, I don't know if you've been to church or maybe you have a candlelight service, something like that. Maybe you're just hanging out. I hope all your shopping is done. I have a couple of online things to buy still, just a gift card or two, and then I'm good, right? So I told you guys about this before. I wanted to make some turkey soup, okay? This is for your leftovers that you're going to have in just a couple of days. So, and I know this is kind of a weird time to do this because maybe you're busy, whatever, but maybe you're not. Perhaps you're just hanging out. So I thought we would do this today. Uh, I've got the time. My family's here. I, I, I begged my mom to help out. She won't do it. She, she's camera shy. So she's over there walking around. So doing things, keeping busy. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to make a wild rice turkey soup. This is really good stuff. And you can take that leftover turkey that you have, freeze it for a couple of weeks if you want, and you can bring this back out. I'll post the recipe online, and it's pretty easy to make. Uh, I Actually, let me see. Uh, I'm using a, a, a website called Taste of Home is where I kind of made the most of this recipe, or found the most of this recipe. I'm going to change a couple of little things. But let's talk a little bit about what you need to do this. You need two cups of leftover turkey, okay, to start with. You need two, uh, a half cup of butter, cubed butter. You need two carrots, medium size. Two stalks of celery, medium onion. You need a half cup of flour, four cups of chicken stock. You need two cups of half and half heavy cream or a cup of whole milk and a cup of ha uh, heavy cream, something like that. Two cups of wild rice. Lots of twos. Lots of twos in this thing. And two cups of leftover turkey. Okay, whether that's from Thanksgiving or whether that's going to be from your uh, feast that you're going to have tomorrow, right? And then uh, a half teaspoon of parsley. They want dried parsley. I only have fresh, so we're going to use that. Quarter teaspoon of pepper and a half teaspoon of salt. That's all you have to do, okay, Make the, to, to put this together. How's your day been? Isn't it great that we have all of these days to kind of hang out? It's really nice. So this is my, it's really just a stick of butter is all you're doing on this. I'm going to get that melting a little bit. Put that in my bowl here. How were the malls? How was the shopping? How was all that stuff, okay? I was at the mall, I think it was, Friday morning. It wasn't bad, but I was there first thing. That's the luxury about having a job where I go in at 2 o'clock. I can get up in the morning and leisurely go to even the mall around Christmas, and it's okay. So you can get things done. Christmas, do you hear my Christmas music station? You ready? Okay. It's Lady Gaga's Christmas station. Um... It's kind of jazzy, not bad. It's got a good combination of, of music on there. So this is a medium-sized onion. You want, to, you want to cut it up pretty fine, okay? Dice it down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this butter that's on the, on the stove over here. We're going to cook it down just a little bit, along with our carrot and our celery, and get this going. This is going to serve about 12 people, so if you've got a good crowd in, this is a good thing to do. A day, even the day after, if, if everybody's not turkeyed out, right? I like to freeze it and then do it like a day later, right? So it works out. Where are you guys listening from today? Key it in for me. Let me know. I want to hear. I want to hear about where you are, what's going on for your holiday. I've been pretty lucky. My family came in this year, so they drove in. They live 17 hours from here, so. It's a long ride, so but they've been here for a little while, so we've been in, enjoying the days, working on some projects and things like this. Two stalks of celery, two carrots. We're going to cut them up finely. Let me, let me touch my butter back here. Okay, so that's looking good. There we go. Yes, perfect. 
Let me get my, my celery sliced, and then we'll get our carrot sliced. Anybody getting bikes for Christmas? Any of that kind of stuff? Is Santa bringing any of those things? I hope so. Santa may be busy trying to get it all put together, that's for sure. Who knows? What's great about this turkey soup, we made this a couple of years ago, and I just fell in love with it. So we were here for Thanksgiving, and we had a smoked turkey. Have you ever had a smoked turkey? They're really tasty. Uh, they, you can get them online, gobblegobble.com. There's a place down in Texas that sells these turkeys, and they're smoked, and you, you just, you literally just heat it up. That's all you have to do with it. So this year, we are having a ham, and I got it locally, so if you're listening from Oklahoma City, I got it from, it's either Schwabes or Schwabs or something like that. Never had one, so we're going to get that ready to go here in the morning, and it's just a heat and eat too, so it makes our Christmas easy. I've said this before, if your crowd's not too big, set the table. You're going to put a lot of time into your, thing, into your Christmas meal, so set the table. Have a nice little meal. My mom is a great table setter, so I'll, I'll post the pictures that she's going to, when she sets it. She's probably going to come around the corner and glare at me. <laughs> She's really good at setting a table. So I'll, I'll send you guys the pictures. So last week, I wanted to let you know that I did make a Dorito salad. And in that Dorito salad, it serves a whole group of people, right? So you can find this online. If you scroll back through the videos that we've done here on Facebook, if you follow Paul Folger, uh, I know some of you guys are... are coming in with other places from like KOCO. So if you follow Paul Folger, you can scroll through those. If you're looking at them, I'm popping all of these videos that you see right now over onto YouTube. So you, you can subscribe to the Paul Folger YouTube channel and you'll see these videos all together so you don't have to go back and scramble through and try to figure out where they are. That makes it just a little bit easier. So you can subscribe to that. So I try to put all of these on there. Because you know, on Facebook, it kind of rolls down the line just a little bit. You guys like seeing this stuff? Throw up some likes. Throw up some likes. Throw up some hearts if you, if you like this. That helps me out. Know what you, I'm going to push in just a little bit. Uh, Dynasty, you're listening from Houston. And Alana, you guys smoke your turkeys every year. Gosh, I love a smoked turkey. Okay, so my, my butter is melted, right? And my carrots are finely chopped my two ribs of celery, and my onion. So I'm going to do this without making too much of a mess. There we go. Ah, it's good. You guys know I'm a messy cook, so I make, a, I make a mess all the time. So we're just going to put this in here, and we're going to soften this up just a little bit. Easy to do. Let me wipe off my hands with the flour sack towel. Have I told you about the wonders of the flour sack towel? You can get these at Walmart. My grandmother, Mimi, always used these, and they're great big. You can do anything you want with these. They come in, I think, five or 10 for like five bucks. Very inexpensive, great things. She always used these. Okay, so we're letting our onion, carrots, and celery kind of soften up in this half stick of butter, which is not a half stick of butter, it's a half cup of butter, it's a whole stick. I'm gonna put the salt, which is a half teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of pepper in here. Let it get going. Oh, that smells good, right? It smells good. So let me just look what you got, where you guys are. You're in Choctaw, uh, and Kathy, I'm looking here. You're, you are hanging out, oh, you're in Alex. No, is it Alec or Alex? I can never remember, I think it's Alec. So I'm going to chop up a little bit of this parsley. You're going to love this soup because it's super creamy. It's really, really nice. It's warm, especially, it's, we end up with a cold Christmas, right? It's really warm. It's awesome. To, it's just awesome. You will love it. Okay, so I've got my parsley chopped up. I, I told you it's a half. It calls for half uh, a, a teaspoon of dried. I didn't have it, so we're going to use fresh. Don't tell anybody. 
It'll be fine. We're just cooking these up just a little bit. What are you guys having? You guys turkey or ham for Christmas? Or are you both? Or are you maybe filet mignon or a roast? What are you doing for Christmas? What are you having? I want to know. If you like sweet potatoes, on the, if you go back through and you subscribe to that YouTube channel, Paul Folger, you can find there's a, um, a sweet potato casserole that's really good. There's a wild rice that's really good if you're still kind of scrambling around trying to think of something. Man, that's, that, those things are really good, good things. Uh, if they mesh well with your, with your meal. So we're having a ham. We're having my aunt. She's passed away. Her name was Roma Dale. Roma Dale. We're having her lima beans in a, in a, in a cream, like a cream sauce. She loved making lima beans. It was her thing. So I'm trying to kind of do that a little bit. And I was telling my dad, this is, this was his sister. And, and I said, I'm going to make Romo's lima beans. And he, the first thing he said, he said, well, you don't have green ones because I had some white dried ones. And he said, that's not right. They have to be green. So I had to go to the store and get green ones. Here's my half cup of flour. Okay. And we're really just making a roux out of this. So we're kind of making a little bit of a gravy, right? So you're going to sprinkle this in just a little bit on top of your carrots and your onion and your butter and your celery and you just let it kind of get rid of that flour a little bit so you want to kind of cook it in there and then we're going to take our chicken stock okay and we're going to add that in this freezes well so if you're we're, i'm going to freeze this we're pro, i'm going to end up freezing this we're going to try it but i'm going to end up freezing most of it because we already have our meals planned so we're making a milk chicken today for dinner and uh my mom and dad haven't had it. I wanted them to have it. So, and it's really tasty. You actually cook it in the oven in milk. Okay, so start adding a little bit. There we go. A little bit of our chicken broth. I made this chicken broth this morning. You can buy it in the store, but this chicken had, you know, the, the gizzards and the neck and all that stuff inside. So I just put it in a pan, some salt, pepper, you can put an onion in there if you want. Turn that up just a little bit. So this is just making a gravy. It's basically what you're doing with this. Oh, it already is starting to look good. It's this white, creamy awesomeness. So are you guys off past Monday? So I'm fortunate. I, I, I don't have to go back to work until Wednesday. So I have a couple days to kind of relax and enjoy the family and the gifts. I'm going to push up here just a little bit. I want to see what, what you guys are doing. You guys are ham and ham. And Dynasty, you're having chitlins. Hey, you know what? I had those. We, um, I've had those before. And uh, we had a guy named Jet Jackson that used to work with us. And we always, and he always would bring in chitlins and uh, let us, and I, I'd never had them. And they're really, really interesting flavor. And, and there we go. Okay, so I'm just adding the rest of this just a little bit, bringing up the boil. Okay. Is anybody making tamales? Have you guys keyed in in tamales? Merry Christmas, Jennifer. Yes, Merry Christmas to you. Yes. Anybody making um, uh, tamales for Christmas? I love, I, I really do like tamales for Christmas. I, it wasn't until I moved, I lived in Texas a while ago until I really realized that was a thing. Okay, so this is looking really good. I've got my four cups of broth in here just about. I'm going to add a little pepper just because I think it needs it, right? It doesn't look right without a pepper. There we go. Isn't that nice Christmas music? It's, 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 not, it's not everybody that sings thrown in with from the, you know, 20s to the 90s and, and beyond. So this is just kind of classics. Okay, here goes the rest of this chicken stock. So what's in the pan right now? Salt, pepper, a stick of butter, carrots, onion, two carrots, two celery stalks, and one medium onion. That's all this is, okay? You want to cook your wild rice. 
If you guys haven't had the wild, res wild rice recipe that I shared with you for Thanksgiving, go back and look at it because it's great. If you've got a little chocolate in the house and you're looking for something to munch on for dessert, there's a chocolate bark on there that's also really good that you can check out. Cindy, you're a nurse, so you're working and eating at the hospital. Well, they'll have something great over there. So I, I like to eat. You know what? I like to eat at the hospital. Um, I don't, I don't want to be in the hospital, but uh, there are a couple of hospitals over at McBride. Have you guys been over there? Uh, and uh, so that's near the TV station, so sometimes we'll go over there for lunch or dinner, and it's kind of a good, a good thing to eat. You need two cups of half and half. You can do, here we go, two cups. You can do a cup of whole milk and a cup of heavy cream. You can do all heavy cream if you want. However you like to do it is good, okay? So I just happen to have half and half, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. So this is really starting to look good. Let's see, okay. And I'm gonna take this off the heat just a second when I put this cream in here because I don't want it to curdle. That can happen, especially, this is what I have learned just from reading online, that if you're using full fat stuff, it's not nearly as bad uh, to have a chance to curdle. So if you're using maybe skim milk or something, that, that the chance goes up for that to change just a little bit. So let me pull that off the heat and I'm gonna add in, there we go, two cups of half and half. There we go. Now that's looking good. Let me slide this back over to the heat. Woo! Stir this up. Now it's looking like wild rice and turkey soup. I think you'll love this. I really do. It's so good. If you like smoked turkey, I did a little experiment with this and I put in a teaspoon and a half of liquid smoke because the turkey that I have is not smoked um, this, this year. So if you want to try that, you can. It's not, it's not hard to do. Uh, let me see here. I'm just reading what you guys are doing. So this, this is our two cups of cooked rice. It's wild rice. Check it out. Okay. Let's get this in here. There we go. Yes, look at that. So good. So I thought we would just do this on, on Christmas Eve because it honestly, it worked out with time. I had trouble getting, getting, I wanted to do this a couple days ago and I just couldn't get, I could not get the timing together to make it happen. You know, busy the holidays. There's a lot of stuff going on. So you're trying to get things per bought and your Christmas presents wrapped. Okay, so this is two cups of turkey. I'm gonna just go ahead and add that in. And this, this soup is done. I mean, that's all there is to this, okay? Little parsley here. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Let me move this out. Okay, there we go. Whew. Put that in. You are gonna be in love. You're gonna write me and you're gonna say, Paul, this is great stuff. It is great stuff. It is great stuff. I told you, I saw the recipe that I'm really using is, is, is called Taste of Home. And there's a couple recipes for this and they're all just about the same. So you can, you know, I mean, I changed it very little. Okay, now this is really going here. So I'm gonna bring this up to boil. And you can cook this for, you know, I would say another 10 minutes, another 15 minutes, and it's really pretty much ready to eat. Okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna wait that long. I'm gonna pull it out here and show, show, you, show you guys what it is. Oh my goodness, that looks good, right? Let me get my bowl. And then we'll talk here at the end. I wanna know what's going on with you guys. So let me get my ladle out and just ladle out some of this. So you can so we can give you a look so you can see it. It's bright. We may eat the rest of this for lunch. I don't know. I don't think we've talked about lunch. We're we're, we're planning on having the the late the late dinner with a with the chicken and all that stuff. So I have a feeling we're not going to eat this right now. Let me give that one last stir. 
Okay. Spoon out. There we go. All right, you guys ready to see this? Okay, and they, so look. Look at that. Oh, look at that. No, it's hard to see. My light kind of blows it out. So the, the, there's the turkey, the wild rice, the carrots, the celery, the onion, the half and half, the chicken broth. That's what it is, okay? Let me give it just a little taste here. My guess is you might want to put a little salt on it in because this really only has a half, half teaspoon of salt in it. So here. But maybe not. It's pretty good. Look at that. It's creamy. It's rich. That turkey, and it gives you something to do with turkey besides just eating it cold the day after or whatever. It's a great way to do it. All right, so that's wild rice turkey soup. You guys like this? Try it. Give us some likes, and let me know where you're where you're in from. So, what kind of questions do you guys have? I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up here just a second because it's a little hard for me to see this. Okay, Sharon. You guys are, oh, you guys are having a great Christmas. I hope you enjoy your day as well. Does anybody have any questions about this at all? Um, I'm happy to try to answer those for you, okay? Sherry, thank you. Merry Christmas to you as well and your family. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. So it's a beautiful day outside. It's cold, so which is really nice. I actually have a little soup here. So And I hear this back here just boiling away. So let me give this, let me give this just a little stir and turn it down just a little bit because... You can, this will burn really fast. You can already, I can already hear it starting to burn. And the harder you cook it, it thickens up a little more and more. So, okay, wild rice, turkey soup. I'm gonna post this uh, from the beginning here on Facebook. Um, I have a little food blog if you guys wanna check that out. It's paulsplate.com. Uh, this is not on there yet, so I have to get this uploaded and then I'll put it on there. And then I also, if you just want to go easy and look at YouTube, you look up my name on YouTube, subscribe to that channel, and I put all of these things that you're seeing on YouTube onto that so you can find them real fast, okay? I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family. Take the time to tell them that you love them and all of that and, and really have a good time. So see you later, everybody.